Podcast. What you're about to see is not real news. It is satire based on real news. The characters you're about to see are not real-life humans. They are frighteningly realistic puppets based on real-life humans. The views expressed in the show are not necessarily those of Starsat, its sponsors, its advertisers, or the nice lady that makes the coffee. Ah, dinner. Just look at it. Has Nganda ever looked so beautiful? And you haven't even finished the security upgrades yet. <laughs> <laughs> From an age of absolute frivolous excess and reckless abandon. Yeah! Comes a story of powerlessness in the face of total indifference. Ah, no, man. This is getting very ridiculous now, man. <laughs> I'm just so tired of all this cuck with this con and... Miss and Tina, with great power comes great responsibility. But Dooley, what if there isn't any power? I mean, like, no! Mm, yeah, no, I don't think you're quite getting it. Have you considered renewables? Renewables? Renewables is just some fairy story. Silly little girls tell themselves, No, I'm a grown woman now. And now, more than ever, I'm done with the wind. Tina, there is someone who wants to meet you. Uh, Miss Tina, we want to help you people go nuclear. Oh my word, Barack. I'd love to, but... But... My heart belongs to another... Ooh la la! <laughs> Ooh yeah man! Ooh! Ah, stop it, Fred! Ooh yara! Oh my word! Ooh! Stop it, Fred! <laughs> You've got me! <laughs> Fred! You've got me in a headlock! Fred! Ow! Fred! Let go! Do you promise me you come back to me? Yes. Can I trust you? No. Oh, Fred. He's not coming back, Miss Tina, and you know it. Yes, he will. He told me he's busy fighting Western-sponsored anti-Russian terrorism in Syria, but he will be back. Get a grip, Miss Tina. For goodness sakes, we can help you. I mean, America practically invented nuclear. How else do you think we ended World War II? Oh. <laughs> Fuck, man! It's come your massive... Oh, Vlad, I must know you would come back. Wait, Vlad, wait. Not so fast. Huh? But what about the risks? Risk? What risk? Of nuclear fallout. So the Russian workmanship. A complete and utter lack of accountability. Okay, fine. Kiss me. Frankly, my dear. I don't give a damn. Done with the wind. To another state of the Emmy-nominated Puppet Nation. We might not have brought home the trophy, but we were proud to attend the International Emmy Awards this week as one of the best TV comedies in the world. We just that awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This week, Ramaphosa reassures us. Our citizens are safe in our country's wisdom. Zuma laughs at us. <laughs> and Trump wants to kill us. I know what the problem is, and I know how to fix it. All this and more. But first... This. A suicide attack killed at least 10 people in Cameroon this week. The attack, believed to be the work of Boko Haram, comes in the wake of attacks in Mali, Beirut, Syria and Paris, as well as a shutdown in Belgium and a terror attack drill in New York. It seems as though different terrorist groups may be competing with each other. So that's one point to us, huh? You cannot count that equal to Paris. Maybe half a point. You Boko Haram scum. 
Terra is Terra, you eyes is show off. We killed more people and we got more headlines. Ah, ah, ah. You're closer to Paris! In the battle between ISIS and Boko Haram, only one can be the deadliest. Allah, is that you? Shut up, he was talking to me. Whoever gets to heaven first wins. Take this, Boko Haram scum. I won't see you in paradise, you ISIS asshole. Well, that's two terrorists down. Let me go find some more assholes. South Africans and the people in Urania can relax. South Africa is not a terrorist target. Following the recent terror attacks around the world, Minister of State Security David Mashobo stated that South Africa is not a high target for terrorist groups. Phew, that's a relief. Yes, uh, South Africa can rest assured that we are probably not likely to be attacked by terrorists. Probably not. Probably not likely is not very reassuring. Well, uh, terrorists are a little unpredictable, my good woman. Who knows what they think? So why are we probably not likely a target? Well, we haven't pissed anyone off, have we? I don't think that's true for all of us. We don't arrest people's presidents. We don't call people names or make demands on anyone. Actually, if you think about it, we are downright wussies. That's definitely not reassuring. It's a winning strategy. Our citizens are safe in our country's wussy arms. But who wants to live in a wussy country? How will we ever get anything done? Get things done? <laughs> no, that's not what the government's for, my good man. We're here to keep you safe. And if you want to be safe, be a wussy like us. Or then the other countries will just carry on bullying us. You are looking at this the wrong way. So we give away our resources and have no spine. At least the terrorists won't bomb us. Our country is the little kid in the playground who gets his lunch stolen every day. <laughs> I hated being that kid. At least that kid lived, Justice. He lived. President Jacob Zuma appeared in Parliament and told MPs he just can't help laughing. Zuma chuckled his way through questions on very serious matters. I can't help my terrible affliction. <laughs> but I'm working really hard to stop it, Deborah. Try me. Ah, uh, shall we talk about the devastating drought? Uh, yes, yes, a real tragedy. <laughs> we are running out of water. And we need the water to live. <laughs> so, that worked well. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not funny at all. <laughs> it's not funny at all. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> I think I'm okay. So the people that died in Cameroon... <laughs> this just isn't okay. Maybe we can cure them like hiccups? Have you tried holding your breath? No, uh, let me try. <laughs> Drinking a glass of water backwards? How about we scare him? Scare him? Like... <laughs> no, more like... <laughs> Goodness. Come on, Mr. President, just stop laughing. <laughs> stop laughing, you moor. Vakuban. Vakuban. Finance Minister Nchantla Nene wants us all to be frugal with our gift-giving this year. That reminds me, what are you getting me for Christmas? I thought you might ask that, sir. I came prepared. Nice for a day voucher? I, Debra Petter, promise to be mildly nice the whole day? Keep that safe. It's priceless. But it's only valid after the 25th. This is a terrible gift. That's the right idea, Debra. Give gifts that come from the heart. Or better yet, give gifts in spirit. Spirit gifts? Like a little uh, single malt whiskey? Not, not no, no. Things. More like gifts you can feel but not touch. Or see, or charge on your credit card. Even the finance minister agrees that I gave the perfect gift. It sounds like he wants us to cancel Christmas. Not cancel. You can't tell the country to cancel Christmas. It's not legal. I text. 
twice. Oh, good. I'm just asking you to skip gifts and the costly decorations. In fact, skip the tree altogether. No Christmas tree? They aren't very African, are they? Oh, and skip the traveling. Traveling is costly. Just say hello to your family on something free like Skype. Next is going to tell us to skip the big Christmas lunches. That's the spirit, Justice. No one needs that much food all in one day. A hot plate of plain pop is just as good as a roast. Now that's just taking it too far. It's just not Christmas without roast potatoes. Our economy can't be that bad. But it is. It's terrible. And I mean that in the most festive possible way, man. Ah, Merry fucking Christmas. And there's someone running down the center. <laughs> Will anybody catch him? <laughs> no, never. Your kid getting skin cancer from playing outside in the sun is a problem. Your kid watching cartoons and movies and frying their brain is never a problem. Get FUTV Mini for only half your monthly salary and keep your kids indoors. FUTV. Hi, can Vusi come out and play? Yeah, yeah mm -mm, never. So, I had the best joke yesterday. Yes. An Afrikaner, a Zulu, and a German tourist walk into a bar. Then Is this going to be a racist joke? I can't be racist, Deborah. I'm black. Okay. So anyway, they walk into the bar, and the barman says, last round. And then what Have happened? you ever actually heard someone say that? Of course. I've never heard anyone say that. They definitely say it, Deborah. Huh? Okay. So then the Afrikaner uh, says... So sorry, you're going to have to tell me later we need to carry on with the news. <sighs> Salabosch University has announced that exams will go ahead as planned, despite the student protest action. Student protests have recently resulted in the university scrapping Afrikaans as its primary teaching language in favor of English. And the further protests are calling for the university to end outsourcing of its staff. The DA believes that Stellenbosch had need the right decision, Hamark. Excuse me? The DA believes in including Alasset Afrikaners in the educational institutions. Do you think he thinks he's speaking a different language? We believe the Afrikaans are dull, mut be her break as Stellenbosch. I think he's saying that Stellenbosch should keep Afrikaans. Exactly the opposite of what the students asked for in 2015 and back in 1976. We believe that us would protect the doll. He reminds me of someone. You think he would get belief right though? Allah Dala is Palangric, but we believe... We know that the African style is Palangric and cannot be allowed to work on. Is it Buerta or Martinez? Definitely Buerta, if Buerta butchered his home language. Hey, a guy has to try, all right? Keep trying, you'll get there. Note to self, get Helen or one of the other wives to make the African speeches. What about my neighbor, Yakubas? Yakubas! Police Minister Nati Ntlejo said in a statement to the press that suspended police commissioner Ria Piecha may say whatever she wants. The minister says that any statement Piecha makes will not affect the internal disciplinary processes. You know, it's such a relief to me to hear that. Oh, really? I would have thought you would be offended by the implication that you need permission to talk. I prefer it to allegations that I somehow deliberately was in the wrong. I am never deliberate about anything. So you believe you're completely innocent? You followed all the laws and protocols? I believe people have forgotten that I'm human. I want people to know who I am. I wish I could forget about you. I like to chew paper when I'm nervous. And I talk to my plants who are called Stoffel and Jacob. I think that's maybe sharing a little bit too much, eh? Hmm? Also, I like to pray to the moon and to the sun while dancing naked in my garden with the pixies. That's far more than I ever wanted to know about anyone. You know, I pictured it while she was talking and now the images are stuck in my head. No! <laughs> The Springboks are losing their jersey sponsor after EPSA decided not to renew its sponsorship deal with the South African Rugby Union. The bank cited lack of transformation in the team as its reason for not renewing the contract, but it could also be because they keep losing matches and tournaments and World Cups. They came third. Third is not winning, Justice. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, even though it's not my fault we, we lost the sponsorship, 
Oh, um, hello, sorry. And I've been working very hard on finding a new sponsor. Maybe if you worked hard at being a coach, you wouldn't have lost the sponsorship in the first place. Or so many games. Uh, and, uh, and I think I found someone who doesn't mind sponsoring us. Someone who doesn't mind the losing? Or someone who doesn't mind that the team is still white. Yes, uh, and yes. Uh, we're looking for someone who doesn't mind that the team is as white as hospital linen. Most of spas don't mind that we're not mixed because she's mixed enough for all of us. And she tastes lacquer. I mean the chutney. And she's big with expats and they don't mind that we are white. And plan B. Creepy crawly. The South African name in pool cleaners will be cleaning up on the rugby field too. That sounds awful. It makes the team sound like a bunch of dirty old men. Plan C! Now you've got the uncle in the rugby business. Yeah, it's always good to have an uncle. I love my uncle. Is there maybe a plan D? Please let there be a plan D. Um, not yet, but I'm still looking if anyone out there doesn't mind being a biggie racist and a bit of a loser and, and wants to sponsor a team. Hmm. Anyone? Anyone at all? The EFF will be occupying the APSA offices next year. The actual banks or the offices? Julius Malema didn't clarify, but he did say that the EFF will be occupying APSA until they agreed to empower their workers. The EFF will not stand by while the fat cats get fatter and the workers earn peanuts. Pet peanuts. Exactly, my leader. We will not stand by while the, the workers remain poor. We will occupy your buildings until you do right by the workers. Floyd. Let's check the occupying gear thingies here. Sleeping bags? Check! Camp chairs? Check my commander in chief. Camp chairs with cooler bags in the armrest for your drinking, cooling and convenience. Propane stove? My chief, will we be cooking? I thought we were ordering Nando's. I, I like combo three and the The poor food. workers will not be eating takeout. We will be with them in spirit and stomach. We will cook. Oh, oh. All right. Solar-powered lamps. Check. We still don't trust ESCOM. Battery-powered air conditioning unit. Uh, oops. Sorry, I forgot that one. <laughs> but never fear, my leader. I'll head to Cape Union Mart right away, my leader. Do they also sell those inflatable mattresses and one travel socks? Yeah, bo, my leader. Then, the way forward is clear. We must occupy the Cape Union Mart first. Ah, brilliant, my commissar. Shall we stop uh, at the shops and get some snacks? Mmm. Good point, Floyd. We shall occupy Woolworths first. Absa, we are coming for you, Barba. <sighs> What's wrong, honey? I don't know. I think I know what the problem is. Are you wearing a tampon? Uh, no, but, um, Mum, I'm not on my period right now. So? Haven't you seen the ads? Wearing a tampon gives you energy. It gives you confidence. <laughs> Now quickly, tell me your phone number. It's very important. Oh, okay, <laughs> sure. When you wear a tampon, you always look good in white. Most of all, remember, wearing a tampon makes you irresistible to men. Oh, you look amazing. Oh, <laughs> it's just my tampon. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Tampons, they're f***ing awesome. So, the US had Thanksgiving this week. Ironic, since they're so intent on keeping immigrants out now. What are you thankful for? Well, obviously the answer is working with you. Really? Hmm, that's nice. Week in and week out. You know, I'm grateful for you too, you know, it's... Never any breaks from the endless cycle. You're yeah, being sarcastic, aren't you? Uh-huh. Hmm, fine. Oh, yes, I was telling you my joke. So, the Afrikaner then says, Can oh, I please order? Oh, we have time. We need to go to Rian for the old news. Rian, what are you thankful for? Oh, so many things. Sunshine and rainbows and coffee. And of course, both of you wonderful people. Thank you, Rian. <laughs> when are you taking us to today, Rian? It's been 20 years since Desmond Tutu was appointed to run the TRC. Let me take you back. Good evening, Huyanant Dumelang. 
Today, Archbishop Desmond Tutu was given a very important new task, heading up a truth and reconciliation campaign. Yes, Rian, my child, isn't it wonderful? You know, at last, we will have everything about apartheid out in the open. No more secrets. You seem very confident this will work. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> People tell the truth and we just reconcile them. Don't they need to have been uh, consiled in the first place if they're going to reconcile. We will make a plan. Will people be forced to participate? No, 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 no. This is a peaceful democratic process. You voluntarily want people to confess to crimes? Yes, yes. Then we tell them the truth will set you free. Hmm. As you say, what could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Oh, crap. Here we go again. This week on Shit Trump Says. This week's shit with Donald Trump. I didn't think it was possible, Black News Guy, but I found people worse than Mexican rapists. The frickin' Muslims. Well, the Mexicans would be relieved to get a break from Trump. Oh, uh, could I get a break from Trump, please? I know what the problem is, and I know how to fix it. We need to get rid of all the brown people in all the mosques. The frickin' Muslims have gotta go. Where would all the members of one of the world's biggest and most widely spread religions go? I don't care. They just can't be here in my America. When did they give him America? Mm. I took it, Black News Guy. It's mine. And you know who else has got to go? That Obama. Obama is a pussy. He's scared of Muslims, but I'm not. I'll interrogate every Muslim in the country myself. Hey, are you or are you not a Muslim terrorist? I'm not. Rubbish. You're brown. You got to go. You're a terrorist. I'm the bus driver. Likely story. Are you or are you not a Muslim terrorist? As if. She's white, she's okay. Lose the scarf, lady. It's a terrorist uniform. <laughs> Take this one away. Aren't you gonna ask me any questions? I know a bad seed when I see one. You should try looking in the mirror. Hey, what about you, Black News Guy? You got any terrorist connections? I'm watching you. One of the many stories that went viral after the Paris attacks was that of Diesel, the police dog. Diesel was killed during a raid on jihadists linked to the attacks. Yes, and yet a tragedy. Well, obviously it's sad, but... It, it is the worst thing. I am a strong man, dear bro. Sometimes I eat bullets for breakfast, but when I hear about Diesel, I cry. You know there are dogs in Ukraine, right? But you didn't report the good news yet. We are sending the French a gift. Security guards? No, a puppy. Oh! You guys realize there are a whole lot more serious things to consider here. French foreign policy, the ongoing attacks around the world. Just to shut up and look at the puppy. <laughs> oh! oh. Yes, oh. Yes, yes. While Trump declares war on Muslims and Benny Sanders campaigns for the poorest of the poor, Hillary Clinton has a different approach to the U.S. presidential race. Hillary put something brand new online for her supporters, probably to distract them from the Clinton money machine. So, what did you put online? Is it policy documents? The truth about your emails? It's cross-stitch. Sorry, what? I put a pattern on my website that says, Girls just want to have fun. Demental rights. Isn't that cool? Um... I still don't even know what cross-stitch is. It's embroidery, silly. Sewing? You want people to sew your slogan? Uh-huh. Girl power. On what? Oh, tea towels, pillows. They make great gifts. Finally, I know what to actually get you for Christmas. But you mm. know this woman is so white, though. Mm. So, there you have it, folks. It's practically Christmas, but you shouldn't spend any money. And it's almost the holidays, but you probably shouldn't relax at any time soon. This has been the 108th State of the Puppet Nation. Goodbye. Bye. I wonder if I'm really nice to him, if Putin would send me a puppy too. Never mind that. I can finally finish telling you my joke. So... The Afrikaner then says to the this barman... This joke better like be really good now, Justice. The way you've been going on and on and on about it. Oh, no, no. It's better than good. It's amazing. So, the Afrikaner says...